Welcome back outside here to our jet deck. The South Alabama Land Trust, formerly the Weeks Bay Foundation, is celebrating its 30th anniversary. Connie Whitaker and Diana Brewer are here to tell us all about it. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Joe. And Thank happy you. anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's start. We, we called it SALT, the new name. Tell us a little bit about this name change from what was formerly the Weeks Bay Foundation. Well, that you know, in addition to celebrating 30 years mm -hmm. and the fact that we have protected over 9,500 acres of habitat in Mobile and Baldwin, the name change really was a way to be um, to better represent the sure. growing geographic concern that we have because all the land around the waterways, you know, sort of from the Delta to Dolphin Island to Gulf Shores, all ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. So this really demonstrates our commitment to protecting land throughout South Alabama. Yeah, and a tribute to what you've been able to accomplish so far. As exactly. Well, so that's fantastic. Exactly. So tell us a little bit about what's going on in accordance with this 30th anniversary. You've got a couple outreach things you want the folks to know about. Sure. Um, part of, uh, of course, land protection is, is part of our mission, but mm -hmm. so is um, environmental education and, and outreach. So we're creating opportunities for, for folks to get out and enjoy, and this, particularly during this time of COVID, it's a great time to get out with uh, guided paddle trips, um, birding trips, plan ID walks, and it's it's safe. We're outside. And for folks who really want to explore and don't have a, a kayak to get out to do, we, we provide those. Or, you know, it can be intimidating taking on a new hobby with birding sure. or something. So we uh, we give them opportunity just to get engaged. And when people are invested in, in into it, then, then they're more inclined to, to do it more and more. Exactly. And when you're invested into doing these things and celebrating the natural resources that you have, you're doing so and growing more of a fondness and a love for them and want to pay more attention to protecting that for future generations yeah. to come. So we're taking a look at some great photos here on the screen. And speaking of photography, is there a little yeah. contest going on? <laughs> there <here>? is. <laughs> Glad you mentioned that. We've got our annual photo contest going on. The deadline is November 1st. And you just go to SouthAlabamaLandTrust.org to enter. You can up, enter up to three entries, and you you know you pick a category whether it's flora, fauna, people in nature, mm -hmm. habitat. They have to all kind of represent South Alabama. The photos have to be taken here, not in Montana. <laughs> and uh, but we're really excited. We're getting some great entries so far. So I really really encourage anybody who just has had fun getting out with their camera, especially during COVID, to to submit. Yeah, if, if you've got a photo of the mountains in Montana, yeah. that might be skeptical. We're going to know. We might be able to figure <laughs> that one out. All right, ladies, anything else we need to let the folks know about before we go here this morning? I'll also quickly mention that uh, if you're interested in, in participating in one of our events, go mm -hmm. to our website, southalabamalandtrust.org, or check, out, check us out on Facebook. Well, congratulations Absolutely. on everything going on. We'll have a link to that website they talked about and the Facebook page on the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. Ladies, thank you so much. Good thank to see you. Thanks for thank having you. us. All right. Chelsea.